We've talked about augmented reality before, but here's a story that makes it very real in the South African context. Two very different South African newspapers have cottoned onto the idea and started dabbling with AR. Seems this kind of technology could throw a lifeline to struggling media like newspapers. With general circulation on a steady downward trend, print media needs to adapt, and the smart editors have recognized that. Augmented reality, it's the latest buzzword, but what does it really mean? Holograms? Projected information? Last week we showed you how the Google Glass project is set to change our lives through augmented reality, but really it's changing the way we live already. Augmented reality, I uh, can't say that I have heard of it. What reality? I never heard of it. Like if you have a picture of something and you just put um, a phone, your phone or something and then it actually gives life to it. That's something like a, like a Sims game or something like that. Augmented reality is the integration of digital information with live video or the user's environment in real time. Basically, it takes an existing picture and blends new information into it. It's sort of like the beginning of what many futuristic movies have been promising us. Today, augmented reality is being implemented into our lives in all forms. Technology that pinpoints your exact location and analyzes the environment around you. Advanced image recognition where smartphones or tablet cameras can recognize real-world images and overlay rich media on top of them in the form of animations, videos, 3D models and more. To be able to make me access information more quicker uh, at my ease. It might even help sales of newspapers and sales of printed media. It can help people who likes traveling. Instead of looking at the maps, then maybe it can give like more detail in that map that which is it's not there. It will change the way you read your newspaper every Sunday morning. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? And the best thing is, South African tech outfits have already cottoned on to the concept. There are several areas in which augmented reality is being implemented in South Africa, most notably publication. Peter Maritzburg's number one newspaper, The Witness, is South Africa's first newspaper to make use of augmented reality. Augmented reality first caught our attention because of the pure visual aspect of it. And not only can they have the option to see videos in our newspaper, but also after the newspaper has been published and hits the street, we are able to change whatever content we include into our Orasma videos. The witness reporters set out on a story equipped with a video camera to shoot footage of the stories they attend. Footage is edited and uploaded to the platform which along with a chosen target image is published with the story in the newspaper. Our readers are able to access the content by downloading the Orasma application through the Android um, market, the Google Play Store, um, and the Apple iStore. Once the application is downloaded, they then subscribe to the Witnesses channel by searching our channel and then subscribing to it. Also enhancing their readers' experience with this animated smart technology is the City Press newspaper, with the release of their new 44-page supplement magazine celebrating Freedom Day. The augmented reality technology helps to further tell the story of SA's 100 most extraordinary achievers. So augmented reality or AR is really um, this idea that you put an additional layer of information using a smartphone, using the camera to place information over the real world. So what you would see in this context is the front cover of the magazine, you look at it with your iPad or your smart tablet and literally this globe pops up and floats on top of the uh, uh, cover and then you can use the globe to navigate through the categories and explore some of the magazine. This very implementation of augmented reality into our publications is indicative of a new era that we're heading into. But there'll always be those who like things the traditional way. Like the use of QR codes in magazines, is this just another fad that will fade away after time? 
In my view, augmented reality is going to become very common. If you think about GPS as an example, that is really a form of augmented reality. Your car, your navigator knows where you are and then it layers an additional piece of information over the real world, turn left, turn right. So that's AR in another sense. Because of the power of smart devices, we're going to see this everywhere. It's a far more intuitive, contextual, if you like, way to access information and experiences. AR allows us to bring something to life and something that's traditionally linear um, and I think that's its beauty but I don't think it needs to be something that is specified or something that has to be used in order just to to meet a public hype. Many other print publications are introducing their readers to augmented reality. The Mercedes-Benz magazine has undergone a redesign in line with the brand's ongoing focus on a new generation of consumers. I think in this uh, age that we live in, video technology is definitely coming to the fore in terms of media as a, as a means of offering the viewer a lot more than you can with just uh, words and pictures in print. Um, there's things about watching the way a person talks or hearing the tone of their voice or seeing something in action that can really give you a lot more detailed information than uh, what you could in a few pages in a magazine. So effectively what happens is that um, I'm sure we're all familiar with QR codes which is an evolution of barcodes and now we're at a stage where an image in print can actually serve as that QR code. So your device reads certain points of information from the image itself um, and uses that as a, as a trigger to then take you to go and watch the video. And I think it's a lot better because it makes for a more seamless integration of these triggers as opposed to unsightly black and white blocks all over the place. We've only grazed the tip of the iceberg and it seems that AR is well on its way to changing the way we interact in our daily lives. But with something that promises many benefits, there's sure to be a small amount of negative reactions. Let us know what you think.